Okay, so the top temperature is the temperature inside the cabin right now. And the bottom temperature is the temperature at that exact level in my bedroom right now. And my problem here is that I have two heaters, uh, but I've got one heater in the cabin and I've got one heater in the trailer. And while the cold is just about over, I'm done with it. So while I had a ton of projects figured out for what I was going to do this weekend, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and uh, scratch those projects and put in some more shelves and start moving stuff out of this trailer into the cabin and, and get myself switched over to there because man <laughs> it's been a long time coming uh, i was planning on doing this anyway but i had a few other things like i said i wanted to get done first but uh i think i think we're going to try and get this move motivated and and in that right direction i don't plan on finishing at all today obviously uh but over the next couple of days this trailer will be done uh, and I will be in that cabin. All right, it's a great deal warmer in here now. 65 upstairs, 54 downstairs. Um, and I wasn't really recording while I was working because uh, the batteries really, lithium batteries really hate the cold. Uh, so my batteries kept dying. I wanted to get them charged up and I'll show you what I got done. So I got all that trash hauled off. I got rid of the two by fours. They're sitting up on the loft because I'm gonna use them up there anyway for shelving. Um, and now I'm focused on getting this room over here uh, the bathroom cleared out and getting everything taken taken out of there and taken care of. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I did in the pantry to make that happen. So I had this shelf already um, just so I can get all the scrap wood off. I installed this one and this one. I'm getting ready to cut the tops now for it. I've got some strips of OSB over uh, on the other side there that I'm going to rip down so that they fit in here. Um, and then I'll Go ahead and I'll screw them down. Uh, but that will help me get everything off the floor over here onto the shelves for now. And then I can start bringing stuff in from the trailer and storing it in here to begin with. Everything except for that black rack. The big black rack I have in there, I'm probably going to stack right here against the back. And I'll use that for more likely to get the batteries and everything off the floor. Um, so the, I'll have the black rack over there. I also had to pick up a new battery charger. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. So this is my new battery charger. I've got it hooked up down here. Um, the last one I had for about three years, and it finally just gave up the ghost the other day. But this one's pretty cool because I, it tells me how many amps it's drawn. It tells me what my state of charge is on the battery. Um, I can actually look at the voltage of the battery. And right now I'm at 14.4 volts in this one. Uh, and it also, uh, also allows me to recondition batteries. So I can go through a recondition stage on batteries when I need to. Uh, but right now I'm just working on getting this one all topped off and charged up. But I like it. It's a... It's a nice little unit. It'll go 15 amps for a rapid charge, 3 amps for a maintenance charge, and uh, 50 amps to start a vehicle, which is super cool. Wanted to make sure these things were as level as I possibly could as well. That way I don't have anything rolling off of them. Nice. All right, that is that shelf. I'll need some more screws to fasten this down. Are these small ones? Probably a box of small ones sitting around here somewhere. That'll get a bunch of stuff off of that one. And then I need to do this last one. Double check.
I can already tell I'm going to have to move this light out over into the middle, which is fine because I kind of want it out here anyway, so I'll be able to see what's on the shelves. But nice. Okay, now I can get some tools picked up. Where's my battery at? It's still charging away. That's more like it. I shared this in last week's video, but it's just amazing the morning light that's coming in from the upstairs bedroom window right now. It just lights up this whole wall. And, and, I mean, it's only showing you the really bright, bright section right here in the center, but this whole wall is just lit up right now. It's gorgeous. And all of that is coming from those little windows up there. Very, very cool. All right, I'm working. I got stuff to do. Okay. Love this stuff. Country Peach Passion. I like a good glass of peach tea. Get a garbage bag. So 
So if you notice down here, I've got uh, the propane bottle sitting in a plastic tub. And that's because I kept running into the issue of as the place would warm up, the condensation goes to wherever, you know, or, or condensation gathers wherever the coldest surface is. So like the windows, and in this case, the propane bottle. And I was getting a lot of water flowing around on the floor. So I went ahead and put this in the, the plastic tub so the water doesn't go on the floor uh, to try and keep drying stuff out little by little. But today I'm going to probably put a shelf up right here uh, so I can bring all the pots and pans in uh, from the kitchen, and I have a lot. Um, start cleaning that stuff out and moving it in here. Uh, so I need a shelf for all the pots, and then I'll, I'll hang the pans up more than likely on the wall itself. It's just going to be a temporary solution for now. Uh, just so I can start getting stuff out here. Get a little light on the matter too. Uh, Take it up to 60 inches, and that'll give me enough room underneath to work on cabinets when I get to that point. So I can leave this up there temporarily. Lost my glasses. Where did I put them? Dead center. Dead center. Nice. Okay. You know, I was going to go through a whole bunch of hassle and 
cut pieces to fit and everything else, but I have this OSB, uh, and if I go against the wall, it'll come right to the edge here, uh, and then I screw it here, any pots or pans that I lay, if they're going to go anywhere, they're going to go back. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw that on there and call that good, because like I said before, this is a temporary solution uh, until I get cupboards and cabinets and stuff built in here. But it's pretty darn, pretty darn strong. All right, let me grab some screws. We'll finish that off. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Just finished my live broadcast and I usually try to go live on Sundays, one o'clock Alaskan time and 5 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> and I just realized that I don't have to take this stuff back into the trailer because it's staying out here from now on. And the kitchen right now, <laughs> humidity is down to 49%. Um, I've got the window open upstairs. It's 74 degrees upstairs. It is 76 degrees here right now in the kitchen. This is crazy. <laughs> Beautifully warm. But I'm gonna head out to the trailer and start grabbing stuff and bringing it in. Probably kill the generator as well. Because uh, I don't really need it to charge anything right now. But yeah, very awesome, very awesome. I like it, I like it a lot. Ugh. I'll be doing this for the next couple of days, I'm sure. This stuff was stored in the bathroom part of the trailer. So it is very cold. leave it come up to room temperature That's the only thing I can actually play anything on is the banjo. But I also have a mandolin, fiddle, and a guitar. And someday I'm going to learn how to play all these. Now though, we're going to let them all warm up. I don't want them collecting a bunch of condensation, so since they were super, super cold, I figured I'd bring them out here and then just open up the cases. Let them come up to temperature on their own.
and the kids. Can't really hang these up yet, uh, but I'll find a find a home for them real quick. Pictures of my my daughters <laughs> and my grandkids. Well, that's enough for now. It's Monday night. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and brew up a cup of tea uh, and maybe work on a couple of things I need. Obviously, I need more shelving. I've got a ton of spices. Um, and I need uh, some nice little end tables for the bed. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know whether or not I'll get those worked on today. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Sean in Alaska, and tonight is... Uh, I did spend last night in the trailer again. Tonight will be the first night uh, permanently in the, uh, in the cabin. It's pretty exciting. Pretty darn exciting. I do need to put some screws in the wall, though, and hang up some frying pans. That'll do it, folks. Have a great day. Okie dokie. Probably do it right there. Entirely too much stuff. Uh -huh.